From Sadie's to girls basketball. We've got the, the scoop. scoop. <laughs> Please stand for the <laughs> Pledge of Allegiance. Ready? Begin. I pledge allegiance to the flag of the United States of America and to the republic for which it stands, one nation, under God, indivisible, with liberty and justice for all. Good morning, Centurions. Today is January 13th, 2016. As you guys have heard, have noticed, it's been getting really cold lately. So ASB kind of decided to help us deal with this coldness by selling hot chocolate for only $1. So come on, guys, help ASB out while also staying warm. Yes, you know me. I'll be the first one in line. But now on to some sports news. I'm proud to announce that the baseball season is coming up. If you're interested in playing baseball, make sure to go see Coach Cortez before baseball tryouts. You can find Coach Cortez in room 5217 or in the baseball field in the afternoon. Tryouts will be on Thursday, January 21st and Friday, January 22nd after school on the varsity baseball field. Another exciting sports announcement is boys volleyball is going to start this spring. There will be a mandatory meeting in both lunches today in room 416 for tryouts. If you are interested in joining the Frosh or JV team this season, this is a, the perfect time to sign up. And if you are a returning player, make sure to turn in your packets to the athletic department by January 21st. Now time to announce the games for today. Boys, re boys Wrestling, Frosh, JV, and Varsity will be playing Anaheim at their turf, which will start at 8. Also, Varsity and JV Boys Soccer will be playing Anaheim here at Century, so there's no excuse not to go and support them. It will start right after school at 3.15. Last but certainly not least, Boys Basketball will have their first league game here at Century versus Anaheim, so please make sure to support and cheer them on. I'll be there recording with Patty, so just if you decide not to go, which you should, make sure to stay tuned for tomorrow with Viri and Ruby. Juanito, did you see the games yesterday? Um, no, Myra, I didn't have time to see them, but can you tell me what went down since you're always there? True. Yes, Juan, okay, so here's what went down yesterday. For girls, Frosh and JV's basketball, Frosh won with, um... I forgot the score, but JV won 33 to 29. Sadly, our varsity didn't win, but we have to make up for it. Hi, Centurions. I'm here with Girls Varsity Basketball about to go against Anaheim, so stay tuned for the highlights. Woo. I'm here with Teresa, a senior, and she fractured her elbow so she can't play. But what's something you would like to say to your teammates before the game starts? Um, well, I definitely want to wish them um, good luck and to play their hardest because, like myself, you never know when is the last time you will be able to play, like if you get hurt. So um, I hope they give it their all. Thank you. I'm here with Coach Damien. So how do you think the girls are doing right now? I think the girls are they're playing hard. Um, you know, we started off half the girls not knowing how to play basketball and we're showing a lot of heart. And as the season goes, they're, they're playing very, really, really, really well. How deep is your love? Is it like the ocean? Not only was there a basketball game, but you guys also got a little glimpse of dance. Thank you, Edith and Angeli, for going to record to, for us. Girls Varsity, Girls Soccer had a game yesterday. Unfortunately, we lost one to one. And here's a video to show how hard they tried. One to zero, you mean. 
Okay, so I'm Hector Cuadra with the Insights Group and Robert behind the camera. We are currently waiting for Patty to come open the door for us so we can go watch our varsity girls soccer team go against Anaheim. So let's go see how it goes. So it was a really, really intense game. Our latest interns unfortunately did not take the win. The final score was 1-0, but good job, girls. Sorry, the score was 1-0. <laughs> it's okay, Myra. But for tomorrow's sports news, varsity and JV girls soccer, tomorrow we will they will be playing Valley here at our turf. It will start at 3.15. Varsity, JV, and Frosh girls basketball here at our gym. It will begin at 4.30. Do we have a lot of mistakes? Now moving on from sports into some more musical stuff. If you're an experienced pianist and guitarist, please make sure to go to, if interested, talk to Mr. Aguero and ban in the band room, the band director, or email douglastorres80 at yahoo.com. Since we're talking about music, might as well give you guys a fun fact. What is it, Juan? Well, um, today, in this very day, the well-known band, The Beatles, released their single, I Want to Hold Your Hand, and I Saw Her Standing There. Well, Juan, very interesting. Thank you. <laughs> Myra, do you know the story of how Sadie started the dance? Um, yeah, it was a long time ago, in 1939, when mm -hmm. a girl named Sadie was the first girl to ask a boy to the dance. And ever since then, it's been a tradition for high school and middle schools to ask Oh, oh well, are you going to ask anyone special? Uh, moving on to the quote of the week. <laughs> Life is like a bicycle. To keep your balance, you must keep moving by Albert Einstein. You guys all probably know him. He developed the general theory of relativity. He died in April 1995. <laughs> um, that's the news for today. So remember, guys, be, be excellent, excellent to, to each other. other. Bye. Bye. I wanted to correct you.